Hey there everyone, how's it going? This is Rex for here, and welcome to a, uh, just a quick little video, um, of something I've been working on lately, and, uh, something pretty interesting, to, uh, to say the least. As you guys can see, we are in, uh, Notepad, as if you couldn't already tell, um, by looking up here, and I guess down here, but, uh, nonetheless, we are in Notepad. It is a program, uh, for Windows. I believe Mac has a version too, but I, uh, I'm not really too familiar with Mac, so I'm not really, f uh, sure what the name for Notepad in that version is, but, or rather, that operating system, but, Nonetheless, guys, we are in Notepad for Windows, and as you guys can see, we have a lot of code-looking uh, kind of text going on here, and why the heck is that? Well, basically the reason for all this various code in this simple little uh, program here is because I have uh, been working on a little project lately, and that project basically involves creating a CMD game from converting this text into a bat file, or rather a batch file, and um, creating a text adventure game that runs on the core of my computer. Uh, pretty, pretty broad, I suppose, but to basically make it a bit simpler, I created this text in Notepad, I saved it as a, uh, dot .batch extension, or dot .bat, I guess, short for batch, and created a little text-based RPG game that runs as a CMD game. So, uh, let's go ahead and <laughs> give you guys a better idea of this. Let's go ahead and open the application here. So, as you guys can see, we have RPG game. It says, welcome to the game. One to start, and two to exit, and uh, basically you type those uh, variables, or rather uh, values, in here, and hit enter to uh, activate that option. And this little or application, application, application that you guys see here is actually created using all of this code within Notepad and saving it with a bad extension. So, uh, very cool actually. And I've actually been following a tutorial on how to do this just because it was something little uh, that I came across. And um, I'll go ahead and put the tutorial in the link, or rather the link to the tutorial. Um, <clears throat> Uh, excuse me, in the uh, description of this video, so you guys go ahead and do this if you'd like as well. Um, now, note, I haven't really finished the tutorial yet, um, so this is still a little buggy, but, uh, you know, nonetheless, um, I have finished most of the series, so there is a quite a bit amount of things here from the tutorial, so let's go ahead and start off by hitting 1 to start this game. Enter your name, let's go ahead and type out Rex, and enter. So we get this little error code here, uh, don't pay attention to that, it's a little bug in the game that haven't really worked out yet. Um, I'm not sure if I really will, because this was just a little project as well, just kind of remind you guys. So, you know, just a little fun thing that I thought would be kind of cool to delve into. So, you know, I might go back and, uh, you know, I w most likely will finish the tutorial series that I was following, but, you know, I'm not really sure if I'll really go about fixing all the errors and stuff, because this isn't really too much of a serious project, just uh, something little fun that I decided to do. So anyway, um, as you guys see, we have a lot of different cool things here. Uh, we have a level, level 1 uh, is our uh, current state, uh, experience, armor, health, gold, potions, you know, all that awesome stuff that you'd see in a typical RPG. And um, we have some options here as well. Uh, you, as you can see, we have 1 uh, to go outside, 2 to shop, 3 to heal, etc, etc, etc. However, there's also a save option here, which is actually really cool. You actually can save your game. Um, this little tiny application here, um, which actually is pretty amazing, um, you know, for something written in uh, Notepad here, which I guess to be fair, Notepad is kind of a broad uh, program. It can do a lot of stuff depending on what extension you save your, uh, your, your text as here, so I guess it's not really too surprising, but we're going to go ahead and hit uh, 1 to enter the outskirts of the village. All right, and you are attacked by a goblin. Oh, no. What are we going to do now? Press enter to digress to the next room. All right, so goblin has 40 HP. We can attack, drink potion, run away, or press enter to do nothing. I believe it closed the application. I'm not sure. I haven't really tested that yet. Um, I just created this yesterday within, like, four hours or so. So, uh, you know, with, like, breaks and stuff, I guess. So, I guess, like, two hours, something like that, but anyway, um, basically, this is where the preview of this kind of stops, because whatever option we choose, um, there is kind of a little bug that kind of closes the game, because it hasn't really completed yet, um, so we'll just go ahead and hit, like, three to run away, you successfully run away, boom, all right, and we're back to the main screen here, so that's pretty much that, guys, let's go ahead and hit five to exit, and there we go, hit two, and the application closes. So very nice. Um, I'm pretty excited with the end result there that I currently uh, have. And, you know, I'll probably, I don't know, maybe I'll do another update on this video as I update the little uh, program there. But, yeah, just something fun I've been working on. And I apologize for the lack of content. I haven't really posted something for, like, the last four days, I believe. Um, and I do apologize for that. It's just kind of a little placeholder. I actually plan on posting quite a bit of content today. Um, and kind of saving some of the rest that I have saved on my computer for tomorrow. And, um... 
I've just been busy with a lot of life stuff lately, so I apologize for uh, not being able to really post anything lately. I have the videos, but I haven't been able to post them. So, anyway, guys, that's how that goes, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this little, just kind of little placeholder video, I suppose, and a uh, little showcase video on my uh, little project there. And feel free to comment, rate it, and even subscribe to my channel for upcoming updates and future videos, uh, kind of like this one, I suppose, and tutorials and all that techie kind of stuff. You guys know what it is. And uh, until next video, guys. Um, this has been Rex Furry, and I'll see you next time.